The main focus in this plan, uh, in this cycle, is to assist the 19 LDCs, LLDCs and SIDs and to help them build their capacities by providing them postal equipments and also by providing a good capacity building trainings at the Asian Pacific Postal College and online training courses for them. So that is the main thing. The other important issue there is that we want the operations to be strengthened further so that they can provide high quality uh, e-commerce, uh, which is the mainstay of post offices in uh, Asia Pacific. Apart from that, another very important issue that we are focusing on is that how can the post offices be sustainable more, uh, especially those in the far-flung Pacific and uh, you know the LDCs and uh, LD LLDCs, how can they be more sustainable economically? So, uh, and uh, for that, we uh, for that we need to make sure that they provide socially relevant and government services from the postal counters. And uh, we are also trying to make sure that they are able to provide such kind of services that meets the SDG goals. So those are the main focuses for this uh, cycle. If you look at the number of post offices and the number of postal employees and postal infrastructure, Asia Pacific has the largest number of post offices, postal outlets, and uh, it is almost 60% of the world population and it's reflected in a huge postal network. And this means that almost everyone is, uh, is covered. So we provide the USO from 98, almost 98% of the, uh, to the population. So we are in a much better position to you know, uh, provide uh, uh, socially relevant and government related services. The post offices in Asia Pacific did a wonderful job during the COVID-19 pandemic, whether it was disbursement of uh, uh, government uh, subsidies and uh, government uh, money to the, uh, the citizens or through delivery of uh, COVID related equipments and all that. So that is uh, very, very specific to Asia Pacific. They also provide a very large uh, postal uh, financial services in terms of specifically the postal uh, savings bank, uh, which is a, a very big thing, um, which is not perhaps in other regions as important except Europe perhaps. The most important KPIs are those that are measurable. And we are now looking at, uh, you know, uh, we have given specific targets as say about EDI messages. How much of, uh, you know, pre-desk, res-desk, car date, res date, all is sent and, you know, even customs uh, declaration data, et cetera, which is captured. And we plan to make a substantial improvement in Asia Pacific during this cycle. And as I mentioned, we, how much of government services you're providing and uh, you know, social services that you're providing from the post offices. And uh, one thing that I really need to mention there is that we have plans to create awareness for digitization and also for environmentally sustainable postal operations. So we are also looking at uh, you know, whether we can provide them with electrical vehicles and we can you know, have solar panels for generation of electricity, especially in the far-flung areas, because many of the post offices do not have uh, electricity sometimes, or the electric connection is very you know, erratic. And for any kind of digitization or EDI messages, et cetera, it is important to, to do that. So those are the special things we would like to do.